I repot it several lotus follicular. First of all, I took it out of the flower pot. Remove the old sphagnum moth. It looks like I can divide the roots for replanting. I was able to divide well. Separate this one too. I was able to divide well. The soil for replanting is conuma soil. Planting like this. All replanting is done. This one is small, and I'm worried it won't grow well. Finally, water the plants from the top. When the water from the bottom turns from brown to clear, it is done. What happened to the one that divided roots for replanting on June 3rd, 2024? July 9th, 2024. Separating Cephalotus plant state. Before, after. Once all the leaves died, but new leaves are growing again. Before, after. New trap leaves have appeared. Before, after, large trap leaves have died, but new leaves are emerging again. Before, after, large trap leaves are dead, but can you see them? New leaves are coming out. Before, after, I thought it was small to grow, but new leaves have emerged. August 14th, 2024. Separating Cephalotus plant state. Before, after, the leaves are growing well. Before, after, the trap leaves have grown, and new trap leaves have sprouted. Before, after, new leaves are sprouting from such a hard looking stem. Before, after, last time, new leaves were just about to emerge, but they grew beautifully. Before, after, this is a shame because it was growing well, but I still have some hope, so I'll leave it as is still. In the end, this one didn't revive. Another cephalothus, but here's a new leaf emerging. The leaves are coming out of this hardy part of the plant. Here is a time lapse of the growth of this cephalothus. One hour per memory. New leaves are coming out one after another. I'm glad it grew well. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel and give my a high rating. Please also check out this video. Thank you for watching.